Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're out at Supercar Saturday in Bolingbrook at the Promenade. And with that car show, I saw Glenn. Glenn, good to see you. Good to see you. What's your last name? Glenn Reyes. Glenn Reyes. And Glenn, what kind of car did you bring today? We brought a 2017 Viper Voodoo 2. Excellent car, the Voodoo Viper Edition. And I've got Jaden with me. Jaden, tell me, what is it like to ride in Dad's car? Awesome. <laughs> I love that. All right, thanks, Jaden. So let's take a look at our featured attraction. And with that being said, this is a brand new car that just came out. Glenn, come on with me here. How many of these are made? There were 31 made. And, and this, go ahead. This is number two of 31. Number two of 31. And this is an all out race car. You can see all of the ground effects to keep this car on the ground. You can see the stripe, which matches the steering wheel stripe, so it keeps the wheel straight, so you know where it's straight. Tell me, and here we usually have some vents, but those are taken out for some rocks right now. Let's take an overall look at the side of the car before I come back in. Glenn, why this car out of all the cars in the world? I chose this car because it's its, its last uh, year uh, that they manufactured the Voodoo. Um, it's also a uh, race car that uh, owns 13 track records in the U.S. 13 track records. So on the track, this car is a beast. And I'm a big fan of the Viper, so it's really a treat. Got carbon ceramic brakes there. To do this car. Yeah, I'm featuring those big calipers on this one. And we're going to feature the ports in the hood, the stripe on there, and this massive wing on the ACR edition that comes with it. So with that being said, take a look at the venting here and that there. There's your wing. And I'm going to show some of the greater details of that. So I know you've just had it for a week. Look at that. Still on its break-in period. Uh, got 49 miles on it. 49. <laughs> 49. According to John, you have to keep it uh, under 3,000 RPMs at uh, no more than 55 miles an hour. And uh, I completely failed that on 355 today. <laughs> so, so with that, how did uh, how is it like? I know it's just been a week. What's the reaction been? Your son already says awesome. That's good enough right there. You know, Lou, I've driven a lot of expensive cars from Lamb Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsche, and uh, this car is still on its break-in period, and it's it's an amazing car, and uh, it's well worth the wait. I waited one year to get this vehicle, and it's worth uh, every bit of wait and every bit of money. Let's take a look at the interior. Love to hear you say that. And as we look in the interior, first of all, it's a nice interior in the Viper. They have really picked up their game there. I mean, look at look at the you could if you could see that there's like a race flag in there and the Viper here. It's so new. We've still got a lot of the plastic on it. Viper seats, still the plastic on the floor mats. All Vipers are manuals, so you've got the pedals like so. We've even still got the plastic on the shifter and down the center. I'll jump in. I'll also show you what this dashboard looks like when it's started because it does change completely. But it'll give you the chance to take a look at what we have here. And the all important plaque over here, which says Voodoo 2 and by chance, number two. Still have the new tags for the vehicle that you can pause there. Absolutely stunning. And even, I wanna just do this for a second, show you the detail right back here. And cup holders, which is something for 20, the 2013 through 2017 on those cars. And even like this little handle right here that you see. Let's open the hood, shall we? We've got this vent right here that forces air through to the brakes. 
it's really one of the best Vipers of all the Vipers because they've continued to improve it. And we've got the X-Brace. Tell me what a passion is. A passion, passion Auto is a uh, uh, auto group that I'm forming for automobile enthusiasts. Okay, great. Uh, we'll fully launch it in 2018. Okay, so in 2018, stay tuned for that. Anytime you get a Roanoke Motors car, they put that there on it. There's your vehicle emissions number, your engine fill. I want to show you under the hood, and by the way, that whole hood, if you could see that, is carbon fiber. Let me show you what that looks like with the hood open. Like so. Let's, uh, usually there's some vent or some uh, inserts right there, but we've got them off so the rocks can go. And look at even inside the wheels. Let's start her up, shall we, Glenn? Sure. Glenn, great car. Thanks for being on my car story. A real treat to have you and your son on the channel. Thank you, Luke. Jaden, thanks so much. Sign us out. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yep. Thank you, Jaden. See you later on my car story, all right? See ya. Bye bye.